Opening the project in Unreal Game Sync. In this section, we will open the project in Unreal Game Sync. Make sure that yourself and any other necessary users have access to the Unreal Game Sync depot. You and other users can locate double forward slash Unreal Game Sync forward slash Unreal Game Sync forward slash Unreal Game Sync dot MSI and double click it. The installer will be downloaded and the installation process will start. This might take a while because the file is being downloaded in the background. Allow the installer to make changes to your PC if prompted. After installation, the UGS app should start automatically. If not, find an icon on the desktop or in the Start menu. If necessary, input the server address, user, and depot path. In our case, depot path will be double forward slash Unreal Game Sync forward slash Unreal Game Sync forward slash bin. Press Connect and the app should launch without errors. If the project wasn't added before, press Open Project. Toggle Workspace, press Browse, and choose the existing workspace with a project. When the Select Workspace menu opens, it will show you a list of workspaces that you can choose from. Select Stream, double forward slash UGS Test Project, forward slash Main. Press OK to close the Workspace Settings window. Now click the Browse button next to the Path field. With the Select Project menu open, expand the Workspace tree, select the .u project file, and click the OK button. To use the pre-compiled binaries through UGS, make sure to toggle the Build button at the top of the panel to Off. Then go to Options in the right bottom corner and click on Sync Pre-compiled Binaries. Then click Sync Filters, check Sync All Projects, and include all synced projects. Uncheck the unneeded categories here, depending on your project. In our case, Win64 and Content. Then, select the necessary engine version, right-click, and select Sync. Wait for the project to sync, and the Unreal Editor will launch automatically after the download. Later, if you wish to launch the editor again, you can double-click the line in UGS. Syncing from the Change List area Now that you've opened the project with UGS, let's cover syncing from the Change List area. Make sure that you have logged into your Perforce Helix Core Depot and perform the following steps. After opening your project with UGS, locate the Change List area in the main menu. Find the change list that you are using, indicated by an arrow icon beside it. To update to another change list from the project stream, just double-click on the other change in the change list area. Once the sync finishes, UGS updates the output log, the change list area, and the project overview area, which is where we'll sync from in the next step. Syncing from the project overview area. Finally, We'll cover syncing in UGS from the Project Overview area. Locate the Project Overview area in the main menu and click the down arrow button next to the Sync Now To button link. In the menu that opens, select the Latest Change option. At the end of the sync, UGS will notify you that you have successfully updated to the latest change. These steps should cover all commonly used features for Unreal Game Sync. For additional documentation, you can always check out the UGS reference guide linked below.